Welcome to Sibelius First, the fastest, smartest, easiest way for everyone to write and share music. In this short video, you'll learn how to find your way around Sibelius First. From the Quick Start window, you can access the Score Starter genre templates, find quick links to the on-screen documentation, create a new blank score based on one of the manuscript paper templates, open one of your recent documents, import music from other programs, or catch up on the latest news about Sibelius. To start a new score, either choose the New Score tab in Quick Start and pick the manuscript paper you want to use, or kickstart your creativity by beginning from one of the 40 score starter genre templates. You can browse through a range of styles in each of the different genres by clicking on these buttons. Then click on the thumbnails to see more information about the template. You can even listen to a brief audio example of the sort of music this style corresponds to. Let's start a new blank score for piano. Once you've chosen your manuscript paper, you can then add or remove instruments, and also set up the initial time signature, key signature, tempo marking, and so on. Or you can simply click Create to open the blank score right away. You can make all of those choices just as easily later on. When you start a new score, or open an existing one, you'll see something like this. At the top of the window is the ribbon, a wide band of command buttons housing all of the features of the program, organised according to task. The main part of the window shows your score. At the bottom of the window is the status bar, which provides quick access to the zoom level and the type of view you are using, plus useful information about your score and the music you are working on at the moment. To move the view of the score around, you can simply click on a blank part of the paper and drag with the mouse. The File tab is special. Clicking it hides the document and shows a useful view called Backstage, which gathers together all of the operations you might want to do to your score. From the File tab, you can import and export files in different formats, share, print, and get detailed help. When you're happy with your score, click Export to convert it to a video or audio file, or make a PDF, or reformat a copy of the score for viewing in Avid Scorch on your iPad. Alternatively, click Share to see a range of options for sharing your music with other people. From here, you can upload a video of your score to Facebook and YouTube, or send an audio track to SoundCloud. Plus, you can publish your score as digital sheet music on scoreexchange.com and quickly send a copy of the score or a PDF via email. The other tabs are organised according to the order in which you typically work on a piece of music. On the Home tab, you can add or remove instruments and bars, plus access the most important editing operations, including clipboard operations and filters. To add a clarinet to the score, click Add or Remove in the Instruments group or type the single key shortcut I. You can choose from hundreds of different kinds of instruments, for which Sibelius first knows the correct clef, transposition and range. Type clarinet into the box. Use the down arrow key to choose clarinet in B-flat from the list, then click Add to Score. Click OK to confirm your choice. The Note Input tab on the ribbon contains commands relating to alphabetic, step time and flexi time input, plus other note editing commands. Tell Sibelius first where you want to start note input by selecting a note, rest or whole bar, then click Input Notes on the ribbon, or type the keyboard shortcut N. A blue carrot appears, telling you that Sibelius first is ready to input notes. This window is the keypad. You can use it to change the characteristics of any selected note, chord or rest, just by clicking with the mouse. It mirrors the arrangement of keys on your computer's numeric keypad, so you can input music quickly by typing. The keypad has six different layouts, which provide different options for inputting and editing notes, adding articulations and other markings, 
and unusual accidentals. Choose a note value from the keypad, then click anywhere on a staff to place the note. Or input a note by typing its letter name on your computer keyboard. For example, typing A creates the equivalent note. To add a rest, again, choose the length of the rest from the keypad, for example, quarter note, and click the rest button, or type the zero key on the numeric keypad. To add other markings, click the Notations tab. All of the basic markings aside from notes are found here. To add a key signature, click the Key Signature button and choose from the list provided. You can see the same list by typing K on your keyboard. Other useful single key shortcuts include T for time signature, Q for clef, Z for symbol and L for lines. Another single key shortcut creates a slur. Select a note and type S. Then extend the slur over further notes by hitting space. You can find other lines in the gallery on the Notations tab of the ribbon. Click the little arrow or hit L to open the gallery to see them all. The Text tab of the ribbon is for creating and editing text in your score. To create a dynamic, Click Expression Text in the Styles Gallery, or type the shortcut Ctrl E, Command E on Mac. If you don't have anything selected in the score, the mouse pointer changes colour to show that it is loaded with an object. Click where you want the text to be created, and a flashing cursor appears. Right click to see the Word menu, from which you can choose any of the common dynamic markings. To type a standard dynamic, hold Ctrl, Command on Mac, then type, say, M, followed by F. It's always quicker to copy existing music or markings than to create them again and again, and Sibelius First has some unique shortcuts for copying. To make a copy of something immediately after itself, select it and type R, or choose the Note Input tab and click Repeat. To quickly copy any object, select it, hold the Alt key, and click where you want the copy to go. Sibelius First plays back all of the standard markings in your score using the included high-quality sound library or through any compatible third-party virtual instrument. Dynamics, changes of playing technique, changes of tempo and so on are all automatically interpreted. To start playback, simply hit Space or hit P to play back from the start of the current selection, or click the play button on the play tab. Click the mixer button, or type M, to see the mixer window. Resize the mixer to see more controls. You can quickly adjust volume and pan, or solo and mute individual staves using the basic controls in the mixer. Hit M again to close the mixer. Sibelius First has powerful automatic layout and formatting features, such as magnetic layout, to give your music a professional appearance, effortlessly making the best use of space on the page, and automatically aligning objects to ensure that they are always perfectly positioned. Other layout options are found on the Layout tab, including settings for page size, orientation and staff size. To make your music appear larger or smaller when you print it out, Simply adjust the staff size. The sizes of everything else in your score are proportional to the staff size. If you find the staves are too close together, clicking Optimize will intelligently improve the layout of the selected passage or the whole score. The Review tab includes comments, useful for leaving reminders to yourself in the form of sticky notes, plus the ability to save different versions of your score so you can quickly track your progress. Finally, the View tab contains options that, in general, do not affect the final printed appearance of your score, but are useful as you're working. For example, to switch between various arrangements of pages or panorama, which lays out your music on a single, infinitely wide page, use the buttons in the Document View group, which are also available in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. Sibelius First also makes creating parts for individual instruments very easy because they are always there in the background.
automatically kept in sync with edits you make to the full score. They are called dynamic parts. To view a part, click the plus button at the right hand side of the window, just below the ribbon, and choose the desired part from the menu. This tour hasn't even scratched the surface of what Sibelius First can do. You are recommended to work through the provided tutorials from the Learn tab of Quick Start or the Help pane in the File tab before you embark on your first serious project. To view comprehensive documentation for every Sibelius First feature, click the small question mark at the right-hand side of the ribbon.